Hornady's uh, 45 grain FTX Critical Defense 22 Magnum, uh, 6 inch AMT Auto Mag 2. We're going to shoot into a pork shoulder. Let's see what we can get. have entrance and I don't think we have an exit this is a uh, Hornady's critical defense a 22 Magnum 45 grain FTX bullet um, 6 inch auto mag barrel about 10 feet uh, we have the second half of the pork shoulder we can shoot because the first shot did not penetrate the entire length so we are going to shoot the second half Looks like we have penetration into the jug this time. Penetrated the two jugs behind it. Uh, we'll try to see if we can find the bullet. This is the uh, entire pork shoulder that we shot today with the uh, 22 Magnum Hornady Critical Defense. Uh, we actually got two shots out of this one. This is the first one we shot this lengthwise, and it actually bounced off the uh, bone that was right here, and it's somewhere in here, hopefully. The second one we shot went this way through the pork shoulder, and then through two milk jugs, and we recovered the bullet. So we'll start cutting the... Uh, this guy up first. Um, here's the entrance. It leaves a pretty good size entrance down through there. Um, I'll just kind of cut this way. Get into because it came out right here. Here's what the uh, That one like. I guess I don't know where the uh, bullet is, and I can't. I haven't fucked it yet. Maybe the bullet didn't land back inside the meat. Nope. Not finding it anywhere. There's two, not a whole lot to write home about in terms of uh, wound cavity here. I mean, there's just some, some tearing here, and there's probably two fingers right here worth of damage. But there's not a whole lot of... Uh, cavity here compared to what we've seen in 45 and uh, 57 and, and the other stuff we've shot so we'll cut the other one apart and look at that one now here's the second shoulder piece that we shot we shot this way and it penetrated the entire shoulder this way and then the two milk jugs behind it and I do believe we found it laying on the uh, wood so you're looking at nine inches of penetration in the meat. Um, the recovered bullets, they 
this is one of the recovered bullets. It didn't really expand very much. It pretty much uh, bent the uh, tip over, and that's about all the expansion you got out of one. I'm not sure if they yawed or not, but it seems like shooting the one in the uh, water jug, it did. So we'll try to uh, cut this one. Here's part of the wound channel right here. Here's our entrance again. You're looking at two finger widths that you can jam through. There's my finger there. Uh, there's another continuation. Uh, we'll see if we can cut this off this way. This way. Lots of fat. To the side. So that's our. We'll try to cut this just like this. So here's pretty much your entrance. We've got about one and a half inches spread on that. Uh, a lot less over here. This is kind of tore that along over here. Came out there. And here's our second half here. Try to see how we can cut that because the bone's there. pretty much just have some more of this here and like that and it's not really probably because the bullet didn't really expand too well there's not much to write home about I never did find this first one in the port shoulder so I don't know if it's still in the other half so we'll look and see so there you have it 22 magnum hornady critical defense 45 grain